Time for your pinpoint weather and traffic together, and uh, we got that on our way. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of uh, snow, a little bit of rain at times this morning. It's all moving in, so after that little taste of spring we had yesterday, it's gone for now, at least next two days. As we get back into chilly temperatures, we've seen uh, some raindrops and snowflakes over southeastern Massachusetts. Actually, the weather coming at us from two directions. We've got some showers that are forming off the coastline and then tracking inland, but the main main batch of precipitation from our uh, approaching storm system is coming in from the uh, south and west. So we do see snow across much of Connecticut right now. Looks like a little bit of uh, rain still at the uh, Rhode Island coastline, but that's going to be pushing in. So it is going to close in on us. We're expecting light rain and snow to continue through the morning hours. Top weather headline, another storm system takes a swipe at us. Again, it's not a direct hit. The worst of it's still over the ocean, but it's a large storm system. We had a little bit of a jog in the track closer to us, and that's why we're expecting a little bit more of an impact. But difficult travel is uh, expected as we head into the evening hours, possibly as we get closer to the freezing mark. Uh, some the snow will start to accumulate. I expect most of the accumulations, though, to be after dark tonight into the first part of the overnight hours. And then finally, a change late week. We're not just talking about a one-day reprieve from the stormy weather, but a stretch of dry days. City cam, cloudy skies, damp this morning in Providence, 36 degrees, north-northeast winds picking up right now sustained at 13 miles per hour and they'll be around 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained today out of the northeast gusts as high as uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour at times so a blustery day 36 right now new bedford newport's at 36 and 34 in batonkin above freezing everywhere so that's why especially through the morning and afternoon any of the light snow that falls should melt on the roadways they'll be mostly wet temperatures won't change much during the day and then again as we approach the evening and overnight hours we will start to see the temperatures get closer to freezing. The bulk of the storm system is still off to our south and west. You can see this area of low pressure. It's a pretty big storm. Again, off the North Carolina coastline, it's going to track well south and east of us. And we do see some impact in terms of some snow and wind for today. Future cast shows that 8 o'clock this morning. And the pink is the mix, and it's actually maybe a little bit further to the north than what this is showing, but I do expect mostly snow. It's just some occasional raindrops mixed in at times. 12.30 this afternoon, still fairly light, but steadier snow just off the coastline may try to work in late this afternoon, early this evening, especially from Providence to points south and eastward. At 5 o'clock this evening, maybe snowing at a good clip, especially as you approach the Cape, and that's where the highest snowfall totals will be because they'll continue to see some a uh, decent snowfall even through the overnight hours and the start of tomorrow morning while light snow and uh, flurries are expected to continue here into Thursday. Still steadier snow showers out over the Cape. So this morning, light snow and rain. Temperatures in the 30s, above freezing though. This afternoon, we hold in the mid-30s, snow likely, and in fact should turn steadier in the afternoon. Blustery with an occasional raindrop mixing in. Steadier snow along the uh, south coast this afternoon. Northern suburbs, 35 in Burrowville, about 37 for a temperature in situated. We'll be in the uh, mid and some upper 30s over southeastern Massachusetts, about 38 in Chatham. So overnight tonight, snow continues, especially through the first half of the night. It should taper off in intensity later with a low of around 31. Thursday, light snow and flurries, blustery, mid and upper 30s. So snowfall accumulations, and this is a running total today and Thursday, about a coating to perhaps two to three inches over Rhode Island. I think slightly higher totals over Bristol County, Massachusetts. And as you approach the Cape, up to six inches, though, that may even be a little bit low for the Outer Cape and Nantucket, where the highest totals are supposed to be. Seven-day future cast, cloudy, still a little unsettled on Thursday. And then we bring in some dry weather Friday through 